All right, what's up guys? We gotta head out plowing. We have got probably six inches of snow. They are calling for two to four inches. Um, however, it's closer to six. So what we have to do is because we have more than four inches before seven o'clock per our contract, we have to do open ups, which means we have to kind of make a pass up and down every single driveway. Like you saw in one of the other videos, I had a few people ask why I wasn't doing the whole driveway. Um, basically, we have to make it accessible for everyone so they can come and go from work, etc., before seven o'clock. Then we can go back and clean stuff up if it's done snowing at that point in time, etc. Um, so as you guys know, I usually run the six liter here, which the camera is set on top of. However, this time we are going to be having somebody else running this truck. Uh, this is a guy that used to used to work for us in the past. He's going to be running this because my dad is out of town right now. So he's running this truck. You can see we got the new plow on it instead of the whoop, careful older boss plow here. And then I'm going to be running the 17 because usually the 17 just sits at the lot once Colton jumps in the skid. So I'm going to be running that other guy, Jeff's his name, is going to be running this. Um, he's quite the character. We'll see if we get some video of him later. But yeah, so that's the sit rep for now. We're going to be headed out shortly here. It's 2 a.m. in the morning. And I got to fill up this diesel can. We still have the case on site. They didn't come and pick that up yet. So, our demo unit has been lasting longer than we thought. idea of what I'm driving in here considering none of these roads have been plowed we probably got six inches of snow it is a little bit slower going yes I am saying that I know a lot of you guys who follow me realize I don't really drive slow in the snow. It's doing about 20 under. We'll make a pass on camera. You're live, buddy. How you doing? Oh, but this is one of those times I will because I can't really see where I am at very much. All right, guys, so basically here's the deal. We got on site around three, four o'clock, whatever it is on this site here. Um, we had to get everything kind of cleaned up by 7 a.m. or opened up at least, so we were kind of in a rush to get things going. It was, um, the snow ended at the at just the right time for us where we had to be have an open up because of how much snow we had, and we had to have it done by a certain time, and by the time the snow ended, I was like, well, let's just go ahead and pull everything full width, and then we'll just hurry up and try to get it done by that 7 a.m. mark. Um, so basically we were just really pushing hard to get that done didn't really have a chance to get a lot of video now we've got everything opened up and this whole lot cleared out so we are we can take our time now basically so we're gonna go ahead and start cleaning stuff up um, hopefully get video of all that I just got a little bit of drone footage of Colton on the case we still have that here like I said um, sorry I didn't get any video at first but then again it was at night so whatever so let's keep going Just listen how quiet this thing is. Except for that. Well guys, we're pretty impressed with this case. Um, it's got a little bit of a delay in the controls, like I said in that other video, if you guys haven't seen it already. Um, other than that, this thing's sweet. This is way better than the New Holland, obviously. That New Holland's a 2003, so... Not quite used to something this new, but... 
definitely makes a whole big difference and this case here has got best in class visibility as you can see out of these windows absolutely phenomenal visibility on this thing however the front door is a little tight at the bottom there so yeah if you want to see the full review on that links in the description Lakewood's done? Yeah. So everything here is pretty much done? Well, actually, I gotta clean up the ends of the driveways. Okay. I'm gonna go over to Sterling and then finish that. Okay. Then we gotta do just the driveways. So. I can go to the hearts or whatever. There's one other one we're supposed to do that's extra. I don't know. Um. You want to go to Williams Woods? And I'll go to the Hearts. Okay. Once we're done. All right. Sounds good. There's diesel in the back of that 6O, although I wouldn't put any in this. Why? Because if they're going to come and pick it up, then let them fill it up. So, but if we got if they're not gonna come and pick it up, we can just fill it up when we come back. So, all right, all right, guys. So I see this guy running this wheel loader here. Um, question I've been meaning to ask everyone, and I'd like to know in the comments below: if you guys run a wheel loader like this for townhomes or a smaller wheel loader, whatever, what do you guys think of it? If you've used it in a townhome situation, kind of like we mostly use our equipment for. Um, would it be worth it for us to get something like that? Because like I said before, we're looking to upgrade that New Holland, as you know. So what is your guys' past or current experiences with running wheel loaders like that? Uh, have you run them in tight quarters? Uh, what kind of wheel loader are you running? What size, what weight, etc.? Uh, let us know in the comments below. That help us out a ton, actually. So 
Really looking forward to hearing what some people think about those. And also, how do you tow it? Would you need a Class A? Like, do they weigh so much where you need to have a Class A to tow it? Or could we throw it on a 14,000 pound GVW trailer? Uh, if we could get a wheel loader that size, that would be pretty slick, actually. Something right around that size. Then we could get, like, a, I don't know how big of a plow you could put on it, but, like, a 14-foot cage or something like that. That would be sweet. So let me know what you guys have for experience on running those things. I'd really like to know. Thank you.